You're looking at the faces of two victims murdered by one of America's most notorious serial killers. Today, they found the bodies of at least three young boys buried under his house. They suspect there are several more bodies buried here. He didn't expect it from him. He was a nice guy. Judge Marvin Peters ordered him held without bond. He will be examined by a psychiatrist. They continue to search for other bodies in this quiet suburban neighborhood. John Gacy was uh, probably the most prolific or infamous serial killer in uh, modern times. Police say John Wayne Gacy raped and murdered young men and boys from 1972 to 1978. Before his arrest, he spent nearly a decade living a double life. It sticks out in people's mind um, because not only did, did Gacy rape and kill so many boys in such a short amount of time, but he had everybody fooled. Cops say Gacy was well-liked in his community, just outside of Chicago. He was active in local politics and would dress up as a clown to entertain children. The whole case um, was uh, very, very uh, unique. It was uh, very troublesome um, to people in Chicago and uh, really across the country. Gacy was arrested in 1978. When investigators searched his home, they found the unthinkable, more than two dozen bodies. He concealed the bodies of his victims in his own home, in, in the crawl space. He had a dirt and rock crawl space um, where he would excavate uh, shallow graves and place the victims uh, in the crawl space. Gacy was convicted and executed for the murder of 33 young men and boys. But at the time, investigators were not able to identify eight of those victims. The Gacy case went cold for decades. Here in Gacy's neighborhood, his house was demolished not long after his arrest. And then, in the late 80s, someone built a new house on that property. Over the years, a lot has changed out here. Still, many people don't realize there are mysteries lingering. Today, we are beginning a process to close the book once and for all on John Wayne Gacy. In 2011, the Cook County Sheriff's Office decided to use new science to help finally find answers. Detective Sergeant Jason Moran led the investigation. Sergeant Moran. The plan was simple. Use DNA to match Gacy's victims with families still searching for their missing loved ones. This technology wasn't around during the initial investigation. Within the first day, we probably had 60, 60, 65 leads. You know, first, you know, the first three days, you know, over 100. Remarkably, after many decades, DNA identified 19-year-old William George Bundy. Seeing the pictures of them then afterwards, you know, now that we know who that is and seeing pictures, it was just so heartbreaking. Then, in 2017, they identified a second victim. 16-year-old Jimmy Hawkinson. But there's still more work to be done. Six boys and young men are still unidentified today. They're buried in cemeteries across Cook County. This is the grave of victim number 10. This is one of the unidentified victims of John Gacy. NECMEC was nice enough to do a facial reconstruction. Um, and hopefully based on that, reconstruction or that approximation, uh, we'll get some more leads on, on to who he was in life. This is what that boy may have looked like in life. He was white and between 17 to 21 years old when he was murdered. He had an old healed fracture on his left collarbone. And another boy, just 18 to 22 years old, also remains nameless. He was white with very dark brown, wavy hair. Investigators hope these images, created by forensic artists at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, 
will help finally solve these decades-old cases. Cook County investigators say they will never stop searching until all six victims are identified, no matter how long it takes. The life of the person that was just murdered is no more or less important than a murder victim from 30 years ago, not in my mind. Some had different paths that were taken, some of them had different issues here and there, but they were all young boys at the, you know, the prime of their life, they hadn't got there yet. And to have it just so horribly destroyed by this guy, the very minimum we owe them is to let them know that their lives mattered. Take a good look at these images. Police say Gacy often picked up hitchhikers or found his victims at bus stops. They could be from the Chicago area or may have come to the city from almost anywhere. If you have information about the unidentified victims of John Wayne Gacy, please call the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children at 1-800-THE-LOST.